Although this lesson series is essentially about Photoshop CS6, I don't think we can go much farther without talking about a very important piece of the Creative Suite puzzle, and that's Bridge. Bridge has been around since Adobe version 7, actually, not CS, but just 7. So that's a long time ago, and it used to be part of the program itself. In CS, CS1 that is, they actually split it apart and made it a separate application. Its primary purpose in life is for organization of your images, cataloging them, keywords, things like that. So let's do a quick run around the interface. Let me show you a couple of the preferences and get started in this chapter. If you look over here on the upper left, you have two areas called Favorites and Folders. The Favorites area is important because we can add things into that area that we're working on to save us time. For example, these right here were actually added by the bridge. I'll show you that in a second. But these are ones that I added. Each one of those contains image files, outputs, and exercise files for this class. By clicking on one of those, you automatically select and then the images will appear over here. If I come over here and click on one, you can see it will change the preview over there if I want to do that. Down here, we have filters, and you can see there are 170 images inside of this particular folder I'm on, and you can see things like the dates that were modified, the ISO speed ratings. What do these do? Well, they help you actually find what you need, and we'll filter a little bit later in this chapter. You have something called collections, Collections allow you to create temporary groups of images that are not necessarily even in the same folders for a particular job. And then you've got export right here, which is kind of cool. A lot of us have Flickr pages and Facebook pages. Photoshop.com is a new site. If you set this up correctly and you want one of these images to, say, go onto your Flickr page, all you got to do is drag it right on top of there and it will do it automatically. So that's not too bad. Over here, you have a preview. And if we click on one of these, it'll change and show us a larger view, obviously. And then down here, you have metadata. Now, metadata is obviously the information on the image saved by the camera, shutter speeds, ISO, etc. And you have keywords over here, and it gives you some default ones to start with. Let's look at some of the preferences. If we come up to the word Adobe Bridge CS6 on a Mac or the word Edit in Windows, go down to Preferences, just a couple of them. In general preferences, there's a couple of things here I'll mention. For example, we can change the background very easily with a click of a button, but you can also do it with this slider right here. The other slider controls the background in here next to your images. I usually like to keep that a little bit darker, and you can change that to your own requirements. This color right here, the word Essentials is in, is called an accent color. So the best way to show this to you is to keep your eye up here. And if I go in here, say change to Ruby, you can see it changes the color. Aesthetics. What do you want it to do? Let's go into two or three more of these areas. Like, for example, metadata. You can choose what you see in the metadata panel by selecting these items right here. If we go into labels, and we can label our particular images, and we can decide what those colors mean. The defaults are select, second, approved, review, and to do. Change that if you want to. File type associations is an important one to me. A chapter or two ago, I talked about opening up an image from the desktop. But if I open a JPEG from the desktop, the computer assumes I want to open it up in preview, so I have to right click on it. But if I right click on any one of these JPEGs over here, they'll open in Photoshop because I told it to. Right here. These file type associations override the operating system. But there's another thing to take into consideration here. Bridge is not just for Photoshop. Remember that. Adobe Bridge can manage your Excel spreadsheets, your Microsoft Word documents. It doesn't matter. Adobe Illustrator, InDesign, whatever you want to do. And the associations are right here. Go to Cache. In Cache, I just want to mention one thing. These images, when you click on them, the previews that you see are all part of the cache. The more images you have, the bigger the cache gets. Every once in a while, you might want to compact the cache. Now, what that does is it will look for things that are no longer necessary, maybe files that you don't need anymore, files that were taken out of Bridge. But the cache still has the information that can help do it. 
If you just want to start from scratch, it'll have to rebuild. You can do a purge. And sometimes that's not a bad thing to do. I'll mention one more thing in Startup Scripts. And that is Adobe Photoshop CS6 Contact Sheet 2 and Picture Package. Those were two items that were really popular several years ago. And for whatever reason, Adobe took them out. And now you have the ability to put them back in. So I would say this one right here, go ahead and check it. That's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and get out of here. We just had just a general run around of the interface of Bridge. But Bridge to me is a very important, integral part of consolidating all of your images into one place and then quickly accessing them when you need them. On to the next.